It's one of those parts of life that we can all relate to. Playing games. Whether you're part of a yard game family, nerd out on board games, or, like myself, are teaching the next generation some of the most valuable learned lessons right at the kitchen table, games are an essential part of the human experience. And right here in St. Louis, there's a place where craftsmanship is championing the art of quality time spent together. Across the Board started about 15 years ago. Uh, my husband Ryan and I um, attended a after a dinner party and we played a horse racing game. And we had a whole lot of fun playing the game. However, my husband thought he could improve the design of the game. He could improve um, the odds, the way it was played. So he started tinkering around in our garage uh, the next day and he designed what is our current deluxe horse racing game. What started as a fun hobby for Kim and Ryan, just to gift to their family and friends, soon turned into a way to supplement their income. And when they took their games to a local festival, they completely sold out, with new orders starting to pile in, all simply from word of mouth. Somebody would take our horse racing game to a party and they would play it, and the next morning two people would order it. So we, we worked out of our home, out of our garage, uh, making games for about four to five years. And it was just the two of us. He would make them in the garage. He'd bring them into the living room. I'd sit on the ground with our little kids and pound away and put the games together. Then um, we just took a leap of faith. We decided we kind of had something here. In 2012, the McDaniels moved their operation to this warehouse in Crestwood the same site that's still used today to carry out the full process of creating the board games. From cutting and sanding, to printing their custom designs, to placing each intricate little detail, they evolved from a two-person operation to employing 30 dedicated workers that maintained the same sense of perfectionism that Ryan implemented from the beginning. However, despite achieving tremendous success, Across the Board has lost a major player. In 2013, um, Ryan, my husband, was diagnosed with um, stage four colon cancer at age 42. And so uh, with three small kids and a business that we both was our livelihood, um, it, was, it was scary, it was really scary. He was diagnosed in September of 2013, underwent treatment for 20 months, and he passed away in May of 2015. So then it was a big decision. Do, do we continue with Across the Board um, as a single mom of three small children, or do I work where financially it's a little bit more stable and a little bit easier for all of us. But I decided I wanted to be able to pick the kids up from school and I wanted to attend their different school activities and I wanted to be more accessible for them. And I wanted to see Ryan's dream come true. And the kids were on board with that. With his creation of the signature horse racing game, one of Ryan's dreams was for it to become licensed as the official horse racing game of the Kentucky Derby. So after he passed away um, in January of 2016, I went out to Las Vegas to the sports licensing and tailgate show and took the oval board that he had designed and uh, walked the show and found the folks that did the licensing for Kentucky, Kentucky Derby. And within a month, we, we had the official license and we are now the official horse racing game of Kentucky Derby. That's huge. It was big. It was it was so exciting and it's so bittersweet. Like right. you know, one, wanted him to to see that. Um, but we do put his initials on every single game um, that we make, every single Kentucky Derby game, as a tribute to him and um, his dream. But why just stop at the horse racing game? Across the board, then went on to become the official car racing game for NASCAR, the official golf game for PGA Tour. And just in time for opening day, their baseball game was recently licensed by MLB. One of our um, most proud St. Louis moments, we were selling our classic baseball game at Bush Stadium and Stan Musial's family saw it and they approached us and asked us if we would make a Stan Musial baseball game. 
In fact, Kim has many proud St. Louis moments as she credits much of across the board success to the support of the city. We built our business thanks to the St. Louis community and all word of mouth. Um, we're, we're national, I mean, we even ship worldwide now, but we started here in St. Louis and St. Louis is what got us to the point that we are now and they still support us tremendously. Yes, it definitely helps to have the support of the community for any local business owner. But it also doesn't hurt that there is an increasingly growing popularity of board games worldwide. Reports show the global board game market is valued between 11 and $13 billion, with a prediction to grow at least 7% over the next five years. As with a lot of things in our world, the pandemic had something to do with the growth as more people were staying home and playing games together. But Kim agrees that there's a little more to it than that. We all know that we're all tied to screens, you know? I mean, we're all guilty of it. And it's just nice to put those away for a night, have a family game night, invite some friends over, and just reconnect. You know, I, I think that's what's kind of lost in the world today is just that human interaction and that reconnection. And it's so, so fulfilling to be part of something that I know brings so much joy to other people. For Living St. Louis, I'm Brooke Butler.